guys learning with rich here in this video for our detailing we are going to discuss this time around how to add a drafting views okay so drafting view is another good way of creating some details in your project so you can go to the view tab and then from here you can see the drafting view so as you can see from the definition, it says uh, it creates a view showing details that are not directly associated with the building model. So meaning to say any changes that we made on our drafting view, it will not affect our 3D model and vice versa. So why? Because drafting view, it's just a 2D drawing. Okay, so we, we use our... Uh, drafting view by uh, primarily for creating details okay so last video we have created section and then from there we uh, we do some annotation to create our details so this time around let's try to use our drafting view to create a detail of our let's say equipment pad okay so I'm going to select the drafting view and then you just need to specify here the name so let's say for example this will gonna be your equipment pad or whatever name that you want and then after that you change the scale so let's say uh, three-fourth of an inch to one foot and then just select your okay and then you will now have your drafting with this so this is something like your paper okay if you go to the uh, views the uh, electrical you expand that where is my drafting view coordination so it's under the coordination discipline and then the sub discipline of my drafting view is question mark so what I'm gonna do is for my drafting view I'm just going to change the discipline so instead of coordination I'm going to make it let's say uh, electrical and then for the sub-discipline, I'm going to use fire alarm so that my drafting view will be there. Okay, so let us now start our 2D drawing, our detail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the annotate. So here you can see the tools that we can use to create our details in 2D. Okay, let's say, for example, I'm going to create the boundary of my uh equipment pad so i'm just going to use detail line so it's a view specific line so meaning to say if you create your line in this view you will only see that in this view you will not be able to see that in other views okay because detail line is a view specific so i'm going to create a rectangle here just going to create that and then i can change here the name uh, the length so let's say I'm gonna make this 10 10 inches oops 10 inches enter okay and then for so that's the width so for the length so let's say I'm just going to make it 8 feet enter okay now the next thing that I'm going to do since I'm going to make this as a represent, uh, representation of my uh, concrete pad for my equipment I'm going to select this line so let me just quickly change the line style it's like layers so instead of uh, thin lines I'm going to make it wide lines so that it will become more thicker and then to apply here the representation for the concrete I'm going to select annotate and then select region I'm going to use filled region so this is like the hatch in AutoCAD so I'm going to select uh, filled region and then for the line style since I already have the boundary here the rectangle I'm just going to use here invisible lines okay because remember if you are going to create a filled region you need to do it in a closed boundary so we already have a closed boundary here so it's okay even if we make our line style invisible okay so I'm going to use rectangle here pick the first point 
pick the second point. There you go. And now for the hatch pattern or the filled region, I'm going to look for the concrete. So at the moment, there's no concrete here. So I'm going to select edit type. So I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to duplicate. And then I'll type here concrete. Okay, so concrete. Okay, and then let me change here the foreground fill pattern. So let me change that. So there's the concrete. So I'm going to use the concrete. Select OK. And then I select here OK. There you go. And then after that, I'll just select you finish. So there's now my concrete. So that's the representation of my concrete for my concrete pad. Now, for the representation of the earth, where am I going to put the building pad or the concrete pad? So I would like to show here a representation of earth. So to do that, again, I'm going to use a field region. So I use that. Again, I'll be using here uh, wide lines. This one, wide lines. Okay, so I'll just pick like this, like this. Okay, like that. Okay. Right now, for these lines that I have created, this is wide line. So I'm going to make this line here invisible. So I select that and then change that to invisible lines. And then for these lines here, I will change this to invisible as well. Okay, there you go. And now for the field region, so let me just change this to earth. So again, there's no earth here. So I'm going to select edit type, duplicate, change to earth name. Okay. And then for the pattern, so I select that. Let's look for letter E, earth. That's the earth. Okay. And then select okay. Okay, so it's now selected, so I'm now going to select here. Finish edit mode. And there you go. Okay. And then if you may want to add here your dimension if you want, for example, here. So this will going to be uh, 8 feet. And then for this one, this will going to be 10 inches. Okay. And there you go. So basically, that's how you create a detail using your drafting view. So remember, drafting view is just a 2D drawing. Any changes that you made on your 3D view, it will not affect, or 3D model, it will not affect your drafting view and vice versa. Okay? So hopefully, you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.